What's going on, everyone? My name is Joseph Reynolds at Low Kick MMA. Today joining me is a man that has been on an absolute tear during his pro career so far. He had his Bellator debut in his last fight, which took no more than three minutes. Kenny Mako and Oana, ahead of Bellator 291, I believe it is, ahead of that fight. How are you feeling for it, buddy? Ah, uh, Good, yeah. Um, we have seven weeks left, so, um, yeah, getting getting to the hard part of camp, so um, getting it in, so, yeah, I'm ready to go. Yeah, and tell us a little bit about your last performance, obviously. I, b- I believe originally it was a one-fat deal with Bellator, you went in there and you made the statement that you planned to make. To, to make that a statement on the stage that you did, what was that feeling like to get in there and get that win in the fashion that you did? Yeah, it was good, yeah. And I, I'm, I'm happy with the performance, but even though I felt like... Because um, the weeks leading up to the fight, I feel like... What doing, people haven't seen what I can... Um, watch. When you're studying for a test, and you're getting 100 percent and then you do the test and you get 70 70 percent and everyone's like it's good but you know you can get 100 percent you know what I mean you know you can do better than what um what you showed in it so I'm looking to um more facets of my game like like the grappling people have seen it but they haven't seen my hands they haven't seen my kicks they haven't seen the clinch and um the more I Gonna see that I'm um, I'm not there uh, around as much. Yeah, and we we take a look at your pro career so far as you far and but you had an extensive amateur background as well, fighting on a lot of the island's regional shows like Cage Conflict, Cage Legacy, and those sort of shows. But in terms of obviously, you've made the transition, you, you've become successful already. Was this a sort of trajectory that you saw for yourself when you were originally became a professional fighter? Yeah, hundred percent. I wouldn't have. Um... I wouldn't have uh, made the switch to go pro if I wasn't um, really ready, and um, I'm not. Um, I'm not like even though I'm, I'm happy where I'm at. I'm on Bellator and things. I'm on a big show and that. But um, I feel like if um, my goal is not to be a world champion, and that's the level I'm trying to get to. Like so, um, each fight I have to step up my game because the competition is going to um, keep getting better and harder and harder and maybe things that I've been doing in my last fight won't work at the highest level. So I'm always striving to to get better at my game. You know, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, and to, to fight in an arena like the free arena as well, obviously a lot of Irish fighters want to fight in that arena. But when you do get in there, you, you see the support that is behind you. What's that sort of like being in such an atmosphere? Yeah, it's madly. Like, um, you prepare every sport. It like it just blows you away, even though like you expect that the crowd's mad. You see it on TV and things, but in real life, and when you're in the cage, it's it's mad. Like it's um something that's hard to put into words. Yeah, and and when you take a look at the matchup that we've got going into this fight, obviously you mentioned that's just seven weeks away. In terms of taking a look at it, is there anything in particular that you're looking to do in that fight, or in terms of how you see the fight going? What's the ideal way that that fight goes for yourself? Um. I, I, I think I can stop him any anywhere the fight goes, but I I want to show I want to show more. I want to if 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 it goes past the if it goes past the first round, um I'd like to show my my hands. I'd like to show my um my my kicks, my knees, my clinch, my elbows. Um I'd like to show everything. Even even I'm getting better on the ground since my last fight. So I'm just looking to show every just to be a full martial artist out there. Um, and a full mixed martial artist out there and um, display everything. Yeah, and do you feel as though that plays into your hands a little bit? Obviously, people have seen the submission skills and the grappling skills, but they haven't been able to see some of the striking skills and other facets of your game, as you mentioned. Do you feel as though that plays into your hands a little bit, still having a lot of things that people haven't yet to see or a future opponents they're not yet to see from yourself? 100%, because it, like you were saying, I have an extensive uh, amateur Amateur background, but um, that I haven't been an amateur for what three three years or so. So, um, I'm, I'm I've lost the amateur, and um, I know what it's like to lose, and um, I've had to shuffle all them the mistakes that made me lose certain fights out of my game, and I'm and I'm still doing it to to this day to to better my game and things. So, um, yeah, and since since being an amateur, people haven't seen me 
barely get out of the second round. So, um, yeah, it plays into my hands definitely that um, people don't know. People might, might think they have me figured out. People might think they um, have seen all my tricks, but no, like, um, I, I know myself that um, I, have, I have a lot more to show and um, I'm looking forward to show. Yeah, and in terms, of obviously, we take a look now, it'll be your second fight with Bellator. You get a win. The, the momentum that you go into this year with will be extremely high. Do you sort of have a rough outline or a goal that you're wanting to accomplish by the end of this year? Or are you just sort of taking things as they come along? Yeah, by the end of this year, hopefully, I'm hoping I get... Um, last last year, I had two fights. Um, but this year, I, I, hope, I hope I can get three if not four but um yeah i want to be more active this year and um yeah hopefully at least at least i hope i'm seven and all at the end of this year and then um, put yeah. myself like i have three more fights on my belt or contract so um make a statement in them three fights get three fights by the end of this year and then um, i'll put myself in a, a good position yeah and then to take a look just a moment at the irish mma scene that's coming through at the moment from the junior fighters to the amateur fighters to the fighters that have just gone pro. Irish MMA at the moment, it's been the dark horse for the last few years, but it's really becoming very prevalent at the moment. To be a part of the growth of the Irish MMA scene and seeing the fighters come through at your own gym and others, what's that sort of been like to see the progression of the sport inside your country? Yeah, 100%. Even, even before I've signed for Bellator and um, before I'm a pro, I'm training with people that have... Um, have been in the UFC, have um have won world titles and all. So I know what level I'm at and what what level I need to get to 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 win these things. So seeing obviously like say for instance Bragatano won a brave brave title. You can see Peter Queeley like headlining Bellators and and there's and things like that. It's it's inspiring. I know it's like it's there. It's possible and it's there for the taking from myself as well, you know what I'm trying to say? So it's uh, inspiring seeing the people that um, are ahead of me in the career of bigger names and things doing doing these things that I'm, um, I'm training with, you know? Yeah, and you mentioned that in terms of some of the people that are within the scene and, and it's motivating to be around, but when you are training with those sort of people and, and seeing their skills, in terms of as a fighter still really early on in your pro career, what's that sort of being like helping you keep stepping up that level Going into each fight, being around the fighters that you have, yeah, because obviously it's um it's a it's a healthy com- competitive atmosphere at the gym. So everyone's trying trying um you, even if you're not feeling your best one day, like you still have to be um kind of on the ball. You can't not. There's no like there's no going through the motions almost. Like it's like every day you're trying to be like on top of your game just to to hang with people you know what I mean so um yeah it's good and um it's hard not to get better when you're around around them it's just great fires yeah uh, and then taking a little back at the opponent that you've got Craig McIntosh is is there anything you do feel that it brings to the table in terms of looking at him or is that something that you do you take a look at your opponents or do you more or less just focus on yourself when going into fights no, um, I try to, I try to just focus on myself. The day they sent me the contract, I had a little look at a few of his fights, and um, yeah, he's a good grappler, and he has a few nice, nice chokes, slick chokes, and um, I know he's very active in um the grappling scene, doing grappling matches and things. But um, yeah, I I leave that to my coaches, and um, if I have to work a game plan around what my coaches think. I'll work a game plan around that, but I like to just focus on my game and then um, what my coach let my coaches break the break my opponents down and then um, I go from there. Because I find them, um, I find them, um, I either I either under I, I either underestimate them or else I I give them too much respect. So I just focus on myself. You know what I'm trying to say? And it's been working so far. So um, that's what I'm gonna keep doing. Yeah, and we spoke a little bit about obviously making the Bellator debut and things like that. But when you do make the step up from regional shows, shows like UAE Warriors, where you've been on before in Bellator, what is the sort of difference between those sort of shows and then a regional show as well for a fighter that might just be coming through? So, can you say that question again? Yeah. So, what what would you say is the difference from stepping from a regional show in Ireland to just stepping into the Bellator, the UAE Warriors, and shows like that? Is there a big discrepancy between one show and the other, or what's the difference for yourself? Um, yeah, from UAE and then um, obviously a show that's in in Ireland, I find like obviously 
not not too much with like fighting the fight the fight is always the same but like obviously the things like obviously the setup is different than um the lights are bigger and things like that more cameras i don't know more probably more interviews for a bigger fight and, and things like that but um once you're in the cage it's it's um it's for uh, it's three fives and it's the same thing even with bellator bellator is like, like the same as like the difference with uae to a regional show like uae there's more like um bigger lights better set up and things like that and, and bellator is kind of more like as well like more mainstream like you get more more DMs and things like I don't know, like more more posts, more engagement on your Instagram because obviously more people, more eyes are on it. But um, that that's pretty much it. But once you're in the cage, it's the same thing. Like I said, yeah. Yeah, and then just a final from for myself. Obviously, I've touched on a little bit about wanting to be seven and zero by the end of the year, and, and then coming into this fight. But if there is one message you could give to the people that still might not know the name just yet, what would that message sort of look like to those people? Sorry, sorry again. Uh, can you say that question again? Yeah, so <laughs> obviously we spoke a little bit about by the end of this year, you're looking to be 7-0. and And then also in terms of being in Bellator now, if for the fans that might not yet know the name, what is one message that you would give to them for what they yeah. can expect to see in the next bout? Yeah, expect to see me just going for the finish as I do, putting the pressure on. As, as as I'm known for and, and as I got my name, Black Diamond, for putting the pressure and, and being under pressure and dealing with pressure. So, um, yeah, expect, expect. Me. And, and uh, yeah, in the next year or two, yeah, hopefully I'll be up there chasing that world title. There you go. That is everything from myself. Obviously, you already know enough about Kenny Makahana. If you don't, you need to get to know before he reaches the summit of the promotion. But obviously, Bellator in Dublin. It's always a crazy show. The Free Arena, one of the best arenas I can think of in recent time. A lot of Irish talent coming through at the moment. The Black Diamond is at the front force of that at the moment. I appreciate your time very much. Thank you very much, buddy. Appreciate it. Appreciate the words. God bless. Make sure to subscribe to the Low Kick MMA YouTube channel for all the latest news, event previews, and interviews with some of the biggest stars in MMA.